one half of the people on Earth are without the safe water they need to live healthy lives. Thirty thousand people die every day from diseases related to bad water. In developing countries, 80% of sickness and death among children is caused by unsafe water. For one half of the world's population, water is not a convenient luxury. For them, safe water is scarce or non-existent. These African women must walk a great distance each day to get water for their families. Their survival depends upon water. But after walking for hours, this is their reward. In the muddy bottom of this hand-dug water hole, they will draw water for drinking, cooking, and bathing. The irony is, this water, so crucial to their daily survival, is very often a cup of disease and death for their children. When a child drinks contaminated water, the consequences can be catastrophic. Dangerous microorganisms breeding in the water cause a host of diseases. Gastroenteritis, an intestinal condition, leads to acute diarrhea, dehydration, and death. It is widespread among children under the age of five. If they don't come to the clinic or if they don't come to the doctor, they'll die within one or two days. We have had that so many times. Unsafe water also carries schistosomiasis, which enters the bloodstream, multiplies, then attacks a child's liver or intestines with near fatal complications. The guinea worm parasite also enters the body through polluted drinking water. It grows to a length of three feet or more. It's very painful, and for children especially, it can be very dangerous. What happens is that it produces a very painful condition, um, usually a sore around the leg, which becomes secondarily infected and can indeed cripple a person. Villages have been known where um, almost the whole village has been crippled by this uh, one infection. It's not right that children created in God's image should have their health and their lives threatened because they lack something as basic and essential as safe drinking water. It is to these children and their families that Life Water International comes with a very simple gift, a lifetime supply of safe water a gift that can help stop disease and keep children alive. A priceless gift that brings life, health, and new hope to entire communities. The project starts with a training conference attended by over 100 people. Eight crew members begin learning to drill water wells. They learn to make slots in the well casing for the groundwater to enter the well. 
They learn the sights and sounds of the drill to avoid costly mistakes. These new wells will replace these open pits, which are a major source of their health problems. Children are often the ones assigned to bring home this contaminated water source. A completed well is baled of all drilling mud and sand, so clean water is ready for the hand pump. They complete a cement foundation around the well to keep surface water from entering the safe water below. The bush hand pump is installed and the clean water begins to flow. Delegation from Live Water International, aided by Jim Garrels. When you train a man to produce anything for himself, uh, you have done that man a favor uh, for life. And this is what the crew from Live Water have done. Will ever remain grateful to them, and uh, especially uh, Jim Garrels and his team. And therefore, uh, it is my pleasure at this time to cut the ribbon to this pump that has been provided by Live Water International for the use of the people here in Jacob Town. Therefore, in the name of God, uh, I cut this ribbon in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Life Water will leave the drilling rig in the hands of local Christian nationals who will go on to provide water for thousands of men, women, and children in other villages. We are proud that we are drilling these wells ourselves and proud that we are helping the people and everybody seems to be responding very well as we take this water which is clean to them and they are happy about the whole project. I'm very happy, this is what he says, I'm very happy because of the well that you've brought in this village. Even God knows that I'm very happy about it. Every time a well is drilled, every time water flows up from the ground, local Christian leaders take the opportunity to share the Christian message of living water. By bringing water into a village community, we are able to, to create questions in the minds of the people. They ask, why are you doing this? And we are able to tell them that we're doing this because of the love of Jesus Christ, who can give them eternal living water. Right now, you can give the simple gift of safe water to a child like this. Such a simple gift, but what a lasting transformation it can bring. Your gift of safe water can help stop sickness, bringing health to little children. This source of disease and death can be transformed into a fountain of health and hope. And long after the work is done, after the drill rig and the workers are gone, your gift of life water will remain for a lifetime.